what is up xrp community welcome back to another video thank you for joining me if you guys like daily xrp crypto content make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update so the first story i want to cover before i talk about a potential lawsuit end date from charles hoskinson cardano founder the u.s senate senator calls on sec's gary gensler to answer for regulatory failures minnesota senator tom emmer has slammed the sec for his flawed crypto information gathering efforts, saying that Gensler should appear before Congress to explain his regulatory failures. His comments came on December 10th, and he said that we know Gensler's crypto information gathering efforts were ineffective, citing the collapses of Terra and crypto platforms Celsius, Voyager, and FTX. Gary Gensler was busy investigating Kim Kardashian in her comments on crypto, while he slipped through the cracks, Terra Luna, which was massive, billions of dollars lost, crypto platforms Celsius and Voyager, and FTX. And don't forget the other crypto platform, BlockFi, where you could deposit your crypto assets to get yield. The SEC investigated BlockFi, settled for $100 million, and then two months later, this past week and a half, BlockFi has gone bankrupt after settling with the SEC and being investigated by the SEC. So you really can't understate the amount of mistakes Gary Gensler's made. And now for something big from BlackRock, the CEO of BlackRock confirming distributed ledger technology is truly the future. The BlackRock CEO confirmed those who properly, properly invest in blockchain technology and understand real world solve, real world company will be millionaires. You have to know the game so you can't be played. As everybody gets led off a cliff with these exchanges collapsing and all the chaos in crypto, behind the scenes, the infrastructure is being built strategically, methodically, and very well planned out to switch this monetary system. So Larry Fink, you can see the full video, click the link in my bio, subscribe to my YouTube channel, videos every day, where he breaks down that most crypto companies will collapse. There will be some left, that are blockchain technology, software companies, and then are able to move money through the system, all the money. He specifically says distributed ledger technology. So if you don't know who Larry Fink is, the CEO of BlackRock, he's the largest asset manager in the world. Eight to $10 trillion. Let me put that in perspective. China's GDP is 29 trillion. He runs $10 trillion and this is the reason why they call BlackRock the fourth arm of the U.S. government. And we all can agree money runs the world and $10 trillion, the largest hedge fund in the world, is nothing to scoff at. In assets. And he is saying that blockchain, distributed ledger technology, will run all the money through the system. But let's take it deeper. Larry Fink is also on the board of the World Economic Forum, the Board of Trustees, what his mission is to move the mission and purpose of the World Economic Forum forward. Ripple is also on the board for the World Economic Forum. BlackRock also connected with Coinbase through Aladdin, which is their trading desk. Aladdin is responsible for moving ESG, which is zero carbon, to their investors. Also, the World Economic Forum created the Web3 Coalition that also has uh, XLM on it, Stellar. It has Ripple on it, which is also connected to another organization that is connected to Coindesk. And Coindesk is a subsidiary of DCG Group. So try not to get caught up in the noise. Listen to what they say. They tell you crypto's a fraud, but they're talking about something very specific. They're talking about shit coins that have no utility. They're talking about all of the people who got pumped and dumped and lost all their money by influencers. So the big bankers, they lie to you. Keep in mind when Jamie Dimon called Bitcoin a fraud, and then it was shown later that weekend, Jamie Dimon, CEO of JP Morgan Chase, made one of the largest purchases of a Bitcoin fund in Europe that JP Morgan has made to date. The same week he calls it a fraud, and in that weekend, he makes a massive purchase. They do this to manipulate the markets. These guys are the market makers. They want better prices, and this is how they do it. And a Ripple settlement potentially could be coming December 5th. All right, listen to Charles Hoskinson, founder of Cardano. I've heard rumors that the Ripple case will be settled December 15th, and we'll just see. And that could have catastrophic implications for the industry one way or the other. Uh, but, you know, you just keep moving forward. 
uh, you know, regardless of what happens, it's a decentralized ecosystem that you guys control. And the United States of America doesn't get to say uh, that Cardano lives or dies. You do. The world. Okay. So he's definitely very plugged into the industry. He's a founder of Ethereum, founder of Cardano as well. And he's saying there are rumors the lawsuit could be over on December 15th. And another potential black swan event, guys, we're having the U.S. Justice Department investigate Binance for money laundering. Binance is coming out locking withdrawals just on some accounts amid what the CEO calls just market behavior. When there's smoke, there's fire. And then Binance's alleged crypto audit failed as well. Not even its auditor would vouch for it. And Ripple and the SEC have collectively asked the court to set key dates as the XRP lawsuit enters critical phases. They are asking U.S. District Judge Annalisa Torres to set a deadline for January 4th, 2023 for non-parties to file sealing arguments ahead of a summary judgment. Quote, given the party's desire to reach an expeditious resolution for all sealing related issues concerning summary judgment materials, the parties respectfully request that the court set a deadline for January 4th, by which any non-parties must move to seal portions of the summary judgment materials or else waive any objections to the court's ultimate ruling on the parting sealings applications. And then January 18th is the day they can set oppositions. Now, I've talked about in the previous video from Legal Briefs, Jeremy Hogan, an attorney that talks about the XRP lawsuit from a legal perspective, he believes the summary judgment is going to be the ruling that decides this lawsuit. So a, a deadline of January 4th, I know Charles Hoskinson just said the 15th, whether it's the 15th or January 4th, we've been waiting for two weeks. The bottom line, or sorry, two years in this lawsuit. The bottom line is that we're getting to the end and we're getting there very quickly. Okay. Um, now, if you guys want $41 guaranteed, sign up with Webull and deposit a penny. And just for depositing a penny, you can get up to $15,000 in free stocks. Webull is a massive platform. It's very well trusted. And typically, you don't get the whole $15,000, but you're guaranteed $40. I've seen people commonly even get $300. But just for signing up, depositing a penny, you're guaranteed $40 in free stocks. And you potentially could get 300 bucks or 15,000. Keep the stocks invested, sell the stocks, do whatever you want, but don't miss out on this great offer. It does end soon. Link is in the video description below. And I also have a free Telegram chat group. In the future, it'll cost money, but for now it's free. So if you like talking about XRP, crypto, join the Telegram chat group. It's in the video description below as well. As always, take care of yourselves, take care of your families, and I'll see you guys in the next video.